<laughs> Scrawny motherfuckers on the streets always ask me, Chunji, why does rubbing my murloc nipples bring all the big booty bitches? And I tell them, boy, it all starts with that first date. And so I told them, on my first date I sat down with this cute little fox. She had that white hair and she wanted to play a card game. <laughs> Bitches love card games. So I had that money in my hand and I was feeling all nice so I was rubbing her all over, you know, stroking that hair nice and long. But you can't forget about that fire blast. You gotta warm her fire blast up or she ain't gonna have none of it. You gotta wait around a little bit but sometimes when she ain't having none of it and ain't playing your games, you gotta fuck her world up by breaking all the glass in the establishment. You fuck that glass up. You hit it, you smash it, and you throw it everywhere. And that's when you show them where the other bitch is. You put her right now in New York. I will take this bitch and I will leave your ass. And if she still ain't having that shit. And she's about to throw out some uh, creepy shit. Man, you gotta be a man. And you gotta show her what kind of beast mode you are. You're gonna fuck that establishment up. You're gonna break the roof. You're gonna break the barrels on the left, the right. The fucking water fountain and that clock that's in the corner. Man, fuck that clock. You're gonna break it. And then you gotta leave. You gotta give up and feel defeated. But that's what a man does. But then that's when the thought hit me. Was I gay? I've never been gay before. So what I did is I went back to the establishment after the next day. And I sat down with a man to play the same card game. Because that's what people do these days. They play those card games. They play the games. So I decided to play the game with this man. And I could have hit him in the face so hard his teeth would have rattled. But I decided not to. I passed. I want to see what this guy was made out of. Since I've never been gay before. But then he told me, he told me something I never thought of. He said, I'm going to tell you a secret, but you got to wait one turn. I was like, huh, maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe he's been gay before. So I decided to pass my turn and find out what his secret was. And then something happened I never even expected. He decided to throw out money in my face. I was like, what are you throwing money at me for, motherfucker? He's like, yeah, I got to pay you. I'm going to charge you. And he smacked me in the face. That's when I thought to myself, what the fuck was that about? And I left. I was not gay. But maybe, just maybe, I was lesbian. <laughs> That's when it was time for that sex change. You feel me? So I got the sex chain lickety split. I didn't give no worry about what was changing down below. So I went back to that one establishment one more motherfucking time. And I sat down with a female. Looked just like that girl that I was dating the first time. But this time... This time I went first, and I had the money in my hand from that guy who gave it to me. So I threw it at her, and I was like, take this money. You know you want it, girl. And since I was a female, I had that voice that all the ladies like. She's like, let's make this a three-way. I was like, three-way? With a motherfucking elf? And I was like, well, if you're going to make it a three-way, why don't make this a three-and-a-half-way? So I threw out my midget girl, who I've been carrying along since my first date. And she's like, well, how about we have them fight? Fight to the death. And I was like, girl, let's do this. This sounds hot as shit. So they, that's what they did. She threw hers right at mine. And I knew my midget was going to win. Because she was the best fighter in this West. But then I didn't expect this. She threw fire in my midget's face. And she went down. I was like, damn, that's sexy as hell. But it kind of freaked me out, you know. So I decided to be like, that's it. I ain't gay. I ain't straight. I ain't lesbian. So I let the afterlife take me. And that's my story.